Look, I have, a, I have a broad knowledge of how respiratory viruses work. So I chose to fall back on my education rather than follow what was coming out of research. There seemed to be a lot of controversy. There seemed to be a lot of confusion around the virus. Now, when I look at a respiratory virus, the two main things that would prevent its spread is sunlight and ventilation. And of course, me keeping my hands away from my face and keeping patients distant from each other. So my home is above my practice. I'm a solace practitioner, so I don't have a wide uh, group of staff to assist me with this. I have two nurses uh, and that's it. The three of us have to find, had to find a way to deal with this. So I moved out of my home to protect my family and of course isolate from public because I would be the most at-risk person in the, in the community. And I pitched a tent outside my home, a proper A-frame tent with a consulting room and a screening area. And I marked my floors in my practice with red striping to keep people, uh, they, they, it, 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 it creates an understanding that your hands must be kept to yourself. So you stay between the red lines. So I did little things where I could triage patients at the front gate, separate them out into COVID positives, those that were suspects, and those that were in my practice for other reasons. And so in so doing, keep the population separated. As far as prevention goes, I double masked, I put a visor on, I used a white lab coat to keep myself from touching anything around me, and I went and saw my patients. I've never donned full PPE in all this year that I've been seeing COVID patients. I just ensured that once I was done in my COVID tent, my coat came off carefully. I sanitized my hands. I took off my visor and I was ready to see those patients that weren't exposed or were there for other reasons. And so far, I have never had a single cross infection in my practice. Not a single patient has come back within a few days reporting COVID-like symptoms.